Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR. In today's SpaceX news update, we are going to be talking about the SN10's possible Starship coming up very soon. We're going to talk about what happened with it over the weekend. We're going to look at the SN11, as well as other missions that are happening with not only SpaceX, but another Mars mission taking place tomorrow. So if you want to know all about that, be sure to stick to the whole episode. And also, be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps me know that you guys like this content, and I should be making more of it. And why not? Help a guy out. Anyways, let's get into why you clicked on this video. So the SN10. Over the weekend, the engines were all fully installed. That has been completed. As you know, these Starships, they use three of the Raptor engines. All three have been installed. Locals in the area were getting a notice that today, February 8th, 2021, there would be road closures. Whenever there is a road closure, any closure in the area, it is presumably that they are doing testing of either a pressure test, or doing a cryo test, or doing a static fire. Most likely today, there's no official release, but most likely I would say this is going to be a static fire, if anything. If we looked on the Cameron County closures for the week, there's nothing happening tomorrow. So if no closures or if no testing happens today, don't look for tomorrow for any SN10 testing. They're not going to be doing anything. We would have to wait and see until Wednesday. Now, coming from SpaceX updates, the pad in the area is clear, meaning that they can start fueling the SN10. However, this isn't the first notice about the SN10 we got. If we actually look, early this morning, the SN10 was venting, meaning that the gears are in motion for this to actually do some testing. So I'm, I'm very hopeful that today, Monday, will be when we see SN10 undergo the static fire. Lab Padre, I believe, is the only one live streaming this right now. So if you want to watch the live stream of it to see if they do the static fire test with SN10, be sure to check his channel out. I enjoy it. I know like Everyday Astronaut, NASA Space Flight, they're not doing that. They were just in the area for weeks regarding the SN9, so I'm sure they're taking a break for a little bit. They're not going to be live streaming this. And let me know in the comments, do you think they would do the SN10 static fire today? Or by the time you're watching this, depending, did they do the static fire test today? Because when I'm making this, it is roughly 11 a.m. in the Texas area. They have the schedule from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So this could happen at any time. For me, this could happen another technically six hours because of where my time zone is. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think or what ended up happening, which we will then talk about tomorrow. Now, if that's all you wanted to know about the SN10, you want to leave the channel, I understand. Just be sure to click the like button on your way out. And subscribe to the channel if you want more of this content. I got a lot more coming out. Let's get into more SpaceX related news. The SN11, the nose cone, this is yesterday, is finally being stacked on top of the body. The nose cone, once that's on and it's fully installed, everything's proper, that's the last part of the physical shell itself, really. Once that's on, it's set to come out of the high bay, put onto a launch pad, and get its Raptor engines like we just saw the SN10 do. That's how close the SN11 is to being ready to fly. If you don't remember the big delay we had with the SN8 to the SN9, took forever, first of all. FAA as well, that was a big problem. Took forever, multiple static fire attempts and failures with that. Now we have the SN10 ready to rock and roll and the SN11 is right behind it. Very exciting to see how quick SpaceX is pumping these out. They're getting the manufacturing and the assembly process is really honed in. It shows how far they've come along in just the past few months. So as I said in the beginning of this episode, we we're going to talk about a Mars mission coming up. The Hope Mars mission. This is from the United Arab Emirates. They, in June, I believe, in 2020, had launched an orbiter out to Mars. And that is going to be falling into Mars orbit tomorrow. The purpose of this satellite is to understand the atmosphere of Mars, to better understand how can we possibly terraform Mars to turn it into a living planet one day. This is going to gather a lot of information regarding that. Exciting to see that not only the U.S. is involved in this, but now United Arab Emirates. If you don't know about that country, they have a lot of money. So it's great to see that that money is going towards a great project, which is learning more about our sister planet, learning more about how can we expand the human race to other planets and grow as a species. Really excited to see that more countries are taking initiative in this. And this isn't like a, a money thing. It's not like them trying to do like uh, a lot of people talk about mining asteroids stuff like that which we are going to have to do eventually and i'm excited for that but i'm also excited they're using their money for scientific purposes cool to see the last thing i wanted to talk about i said talked about this before 
the Inspiration4 mission from SpaceX to launch the first commercial crew into orbit. If you didn't watch the Super Bowl last night, eh, you didn't miss... Eh, you, yeah, it was a pretty good game. It was a pretty good game. The commercial they had, they had a commercial for this. Within 90 minutes of them airing that commercial regarding the Inspiration4, they had raised over a million dollars for St. Jude's Hospital. Backstory on this, if you donate to the St. Jude's Hospital and you're physically capable... You can win a trip to be on this mission to go into outer space. That's right. Anybody. You don't need a college degree. You don't need to be an astronaut. You just need to donate and be physically capable to, as Elon Musk said, handle a big roller coaster. So that just gives you guys hope that you can still sign up for this. There is still rum on that ship. They haven't picked a winner yet. It's also great to see that they raised so much money for St. Jude's. I know the goal is $200 million, and this guy is a billionaire. So he's probably going to be fronting a good chunk of that. Either way, that's all I have for you guys on this episode. Like I said, let me know in the comments about the static fire. Keep me updated as I keep you updated down there. Be sure to click the like button on your way out. And if you want more of this content, subscribe to the channel. A lot of my viewers are not subscribed. I'll be guy out. I'm trying to get to the next milestone of 2,000 subscribers. Either way, have a good one.